and the capital city is ready to witness Thiruvananthapuram Combans take on the Trishu Magic FC in match number six. Well, that is what they will hope. Their head coach will hope. Giovanni Scanu in search of their first win. So is Sergio Alexandre. The Brazilian against the Italian on the bench. Yeah, it will be a battle in the in the bench too. The Brazilian against the Italian. I hope they are a tactical magician. So let's see, let's see what what's happening in the game. But uh, I'm sure they have uh, the wrong the wrong tricks in the pocket. So uh, it will be very exciting to see today. A little be exciting, and especially when it's in God's own country, it is always special. It is always entertaining and exciting. The fans never disappoint, and. We all know the footballing culture in this state. And the stage is set. A glitter and sparkle, hopes and hard work. Thiruvananthapuram Kompans at home. They look to find their first win. But will we see some magic from the Trisu Magic FC? We'll soon find out. Underway with proceedings here. It is Thiruvananthapuram Kompans in blue, attacking from right to left of your screens. We show the first one. The first one they play long ball. They're trying to, to look for the reference. So it's a little bit clear the idea they have. Uh, they will be try to be compact in the middle and, and look for uh, as fast as possible for the striker. Indeed, Patrick Mota, a vast amount of experience uh, under his belt as well. Has played in the Thai League 2, the Indonesian League, and uh, the Copa do Brazil and Malta Premier League as well. So he's been playing around and knows how to deal with pressure. Slicks a pass through Akmal Shan. Atamar just lays it off and plays it a bit behind towards Sishan. They need to play forward passes more. It's more of possession at the back and then giving it away to their opponents. Same story for the both teams at the moment. Yeah, you know, nobody wants to take the control. That pass that they make between lines, uh, you need to, to be careful, you know, because. Uh, look, look now, a lot of uh, not very precise, so uh, the game is getting a little bit chaotic and uh, the pass he did in middle, sometimes you need to be careful because if the control is not good and the team is open, uh, that's very dangerous. It seems. So here comes the chance, Sanjeev and Kosh with a strong hand towards it, but his defenders needed to support him and they did so. They still have the attack going on, Patrick Mota looking to deliver once again. He's looking for the far post. I feel there was a deflection. It might yeah, it be was. another corner. Yeah, exactly. It was a deflection. I think it was a great ball from Mota. He has a beautiful left foot. He has the quality. And for me, the, 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 the goalkeeper, in this case, uh, uh, Sanji Ban was very, very brave. Good intervention here. Oh, indeed. Sanji Ban Kosh, the 33-year-old, played all around the country, but he has to save his team again because Patrick Mota is ready once more and this time it will be more difficult to punch it away that way because it will be swinging away from the keeper. Yeah, you need to open your body to defend that. And Patrick Mota swings it in the danger zone, a free header Whoa. as well and the lead for the home side. And that is why you do not want to give away such chances and it pays off. What a goal, what a goal, it was amazing. It was amazing the ball he put again for second time in a row. Uh, we told him that he has the, the left foot to do it. He put the ball in surprise that he was he was alone in the middle of the of the box. That's not possible. So uh, I think it's mistakes on the marks. I don't know if they are playing zonal or they are playing positional uh, or they are playing men to men. But I think it was a mistake for the defenders. It surely was. We have to see that again coming in from behind. Very smartly done by Vishnu and he has got the home fans up on their feet. And the fans still waiting for more. The drums are out, the beats are on. And here was Ashar trying to dance past Males and Algas. Very difficult. Look, the one I think he wants to play, he's making he's giving all the energy to his players. And uh, yeah, Benson is, is being like, so focused all the time to try to cut those possible those counters from combats. Quick little exchange and a little slip. Unfortunate to their lost possession, Canation. 
Ahora de poco alemán, ¿eh? Yeah, that was a good one we were talking about. Uh, this is very important for his team. Marcus hold that ball and uh, he, you know, uh, to have those that tricky for the team breathe and have time to rest. It is free kick. And every time there is a set piece, it is an opportunity. Goes without saying. Patrick Mota, time and again, from the set pieces. They need another goal to sit safe in the last few minutes. Floated in the box. It was a defensive header. And look who, look who. It is Papuya from the back. Who has given an insurance goal for the Thiruvananthapuram Conference. And that is what we call being at the right place at the right time. A defensive error capitalized. And 2 nil for the Conference. Amazing, amazing goal. Amazing goal from Papuya. It was the guy that came in in this game. And he made his goal. Uh, he has the experience, you know, and experience in, in, in good teams in ISL to, to try to be in the right side, in the right place, in the right moment. And again, uh, it was a free kick. So uh, I think the teams need to work more in, in those situations. Of course. And the appeals for offside were all in vain because it came off a defender. Papuya was very clever to latch on to it quickly. Just getting a foot to it, sliding as past the keeper. Enough on it and they will celebrate. And they are moving and marching past forward towards their first victory. Well, you mentioned the likes of Wilbur not coming on. I'm also very surprised not to see Gifty Gracious yet in the tournament. And uh, maybe perhaps there's something Giovanni Scanu has in his mind and he has the plan set. He knows that he's the man in charge and knows what's best for his team. But I'll be hoping to see Wilbur and Gifty Gracious, if not today, but soon in the tournament. And once more, space opening up. Mohamed Shah, the danger man. Oh, that was a deflection of Justin George. A quick reflex save from Shanjeev and Kosh saves the day for Thrissur Magic FC. I like Mohamed as far as hard today. Uh, he was very fast on the win, giving always option. Sometimes not taking the best decision. In this case, was a very great pace, very great pass. Uh, but uh, for sure, he, he it's been a very good solution for the team to play in the counter. He was fast. And he, the most important, he had the confidence to go against the defender every time. Fans having grand time there on the stands. Just celebrated owner. They would love to celebrate their home side's win as well. Giovanni Scan. It's been a similar picture on match day one and match day two for their teams. Justin, sharp turn, little pressure and fairly turned, and this might be a chance to kill the game, and he's doing it all alone as well, a very clever attempt, but frustration in the end, because he missed the target, and it looks like Devi Kuhn has just come on a while back. Yeah, great win, great win for them, for Combans. Uh, they were more effective at the end, as we need to say, because it was not about the, the position of the game, it was more about uh, who take their chances, and Combans uh, were very good on that. They take the free kicks uh, with uh, two assists almost from uh, Patrick Mota, uh, so that's, uh, that was very important for them. And it is full time, the first win backed by Thiruvan and the Puram Combans. And what better than getting it in front of the home fans. The Chandrasekharan Naya Stadium witnesses the Thiruvan and the Puram Combans for the first time this season. And at full time, it is the Combans 2 and Trishur Magic FC nil. And it has been a very intense battle, especially in the second half, when Trishur Magic FC stepped up their game. 
they are very comfortable and very slow with the game in the first half and I think that is where it cost them they should have gone with the same intent from the first minute of the game or at least should have initiated that when they were down by a goal and we'll have a look at the full time stats 43% possession for Thiruvananthapuram Compens to 57 for Thrissur Magic but the goal didn't come 7 attempts of which only 3 on target while Thiruvananthapuram Compens did the damage 3 shots 2 on target as well a few yellow cards 3 for Thrissur Magic and 1 for Thiruvananthapuram Compens 